not to be a weirdo, but I have to do my intro. Oh, no, you can be in it. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. I had a really awesome video planned today, but then the Vancouver weather ruined it. We were gonna go skate five parks today in Vancouver, and then two of the parks we went to this morning were all wet because of frost, because Canada. Uh, yeah, it's dead. We are going to give you guys eight beginner skate tips or like things that we wish we knew before we started skating. I have my friend Sophia here today who's the perfect person to be in the video because how long have you been skating for? Like five years? A long time. A long time. She's been skating for a long time. Also sorry I'm like squinting and going blind because the sun is behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Tip number one. Wear pads because you are going to get hurt you're going to get injured at some point you're going to hurt yourself at some point you're going to fall at some point and I wish that I had worn pads earlier on because I lost a bunch of nerves in my knees <laughs> in my elbows and my knees and I didn't start wearing knee pads until probably about a year and a half into skating and I would have saved myself a lot of pain if I had just worn pads and you know not been embarrassed to wear a pad and I've hit my head many times I know there's gonna be comments where like that explains a lot skaters aren't as cool as they think they are and they're not as scary as you really think it's definitely like a facade I think everyone is in their own groups and everyone has their own like friends that like once you find your like your right set of friends like you start to realize it's really not that intimidating and like I know that a shit ton of my comments are, I can't swear I swear, but then swears with another word. <laughs> Brig. Uh, a bunch of my comments are always to do with confidence and being scared to go to skate parks and being intimidated by people. And I don't really know how to iterate enough that like you'll soon learn once you start skating more. Mm -hmm. Or if you listen to me, I'm here to tell you that skaters are not that freaking cool. They are not scary. Just because someone can skate really good doesn't make them cool. Once um, I got into the skate community more, like people that I thought was scary definitely became less scary. Um, also, a lot of the times when people seem really scary and intimidating, they wind up being really nice. Yeah. Like a lot of times people are just like there to skate and not really to like socialize as much. They're just kind of like doing their own thing. That brings me to the next tip, yeah, which is nobody is paying as much attention to you as you think they are. Literally nobody cares as much as you do. Mm -hmm. You probably think that people are looking at you 10 times the amount that they actually are, and in which case you should just feel comfortable doing your own thing at the park. Um, yeah, whatever she said. <laughs> Another big thing is don't go, I mean obviously like if you're comfortable, but don't really go to like a skate park when you're a beginner and it's really busy. On my first day skating, I went to a skate park and I felt in the way and I felt embarrassed and all those beginner feelings. Before you go to like a busy skate park, I suggest going to parkades, mm -hmm. tennis courts, basketball courts, skate on your front driveway and in the neighborhood around suburban areas. Like go to places that you have like open free concrete to skate around. Definitely after I went to a skate park on my first day skating, I was a little traumatized because people were going so fast and I thought I was in the way. So I just started skating the tennis court near my house for a couple months after that and it literally helped worlds because I was comfortable enough to skate around at least next time that I went to the skate park. Tennis courts are really nice to skate one because they're super soft and not soft but like smooth, smooth. and um and two they're usually really dead if you like don't go to like a professional tennis court or whatever. Yeah. And, like really really focus on learning the basics of skating like ollies you know 180 shevets all those things so I actually even to this day really enjoy Skating just a little flat ground sash, you yeah, know? Just a little flat ground sash once in a while. Okay, tip five. Slams are freaking cool. I'll tell you a little story. I used to get so embarrassed every time I fell. I was like, man, nobody thinks I'm cool. I remember there was this one time I was at a skate park that was pretty busy, and I took my first really big slam when I was learning to drop in, and literally I took such a gnarly slam, and it, like I was almost in tears, and then a bunch of guys started cheering and like tapping their boards for me, and that was when it clicked that everybody falls. Literally, that's 
part of the premise of skateboarding. If anything, skaters will think you're gnarly, they'll think it's cool that you're trying at least because so many people just go to the skate park and sit around and don't even try anything. So if you're actually trying and then you wind up falling, people are gonna know that you're at least trying and that you're, you know, hard. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend, he's, uh, I would say, he's an Ambleside Loke, which is like the part An Ambleside Loke. And my, he's still, I still, every single time we come here, I see him take the gnarliest falls, so. Like, even people who are really, really good at take falls. So, like, don't, like, let that discourage you. Falling is completely normal. Tip number six is really, really learn park etiquette. If you get into people's way, like, all the time, it's, um, gonna be known. <laughs> I'm gonna break it down for you guys in some rules. Welcome to Savannah Skate School. Yeah. Today, we're gonna be learning park <laughs> etiquette, all right? So, rule number one, whoever's got their board Propped up on the coping, I'll insert a photo right here of what I mean if you don't know what a coping is, if you're very, very new to skating. You have the right of way. You are the one who gets to go. And if someone else has their board propped up like that and then you go and you go in front of them, you are snaking them. And that is a no in skating. You will be hated if you do that. Watch where you're going. Watch what lines people are doing. If people are repetitively trying the same lines, try not to get in their way, you know? Try to maybe go try something else. You look around you to make sure nobody else is going first, and then you take your turn. Because if nobody had park etiquette, we'd be body slamming into each other the entire sesh, and nobody freaking wants that. that very well explained. I have a really good thing to add to <coughs> that. Yes. Know where it's right to sit in the park. Yeah. Um. Like, a lot of parks do have specific places where people sit. Like, here, Ambleside, we're lucky. There's, like, benches and stuff. Don't sit on the coping. Don't sit in the middle of the park. Don't sit on the coping. Don't sit on the ledges. Yeah. If people are trying to skate a ledge that clearly is a 50-50 ledge or has coping, uh, don't be an asshole. Yeah. Don't sit there. Don't Okay, tip number seven. You'll never be fully satisfied with your clips. And by this, I mean every time you film yourself skating, you're not going to look as good on camera as you felt when you were skating. Even though I can do tricks that I never thought I would ever be able to do, I still watch the videos back and I'm dissatisfied. It looks like I'm going slow or I think I look awkward in them. And I've talked to skaters who are like, sponsored who literally think the same thing and that's just something you have to deal with forever I mean don't let it ever get you down don't ever be discouraged by it because if I were to show my beginner self clips from now two and a half years later I would be so pumped but because I'm seeing them now and I've gotten used to how much I've progressed the videos just don't like look as good to me but that's something like you're always gonna be your hardest critic so just know that you'll never really be fully satisfied with your clips but don't like beat yourself up over it Last one. Number eight. <laughs> I definitely think this is a really uh, big one to know, and it's to skate everywhere you go. Everywhere. Everywhere, like everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Work, push to work, you know, take your board as much as you can with you. It is such a big thing to like know. The sooner you get comfort on your board and the sooner you get board control from cruising around the quicker you're gonna learn tricks the quicker you're gonna be able to ollie and kickflip and ride in a bowl everything connects that way so mm -hmm. if you can ride to work you can ride to school like just ride around your neighborhood like that is going to help worlds if you feel comfortable on a board you're already like half past a lot of beginners being comfortable on your board is like very key um, if you're not uh it's gonna be a lot harder for you to like do a lot of things. That's one of the mistakes that I made is that like I wasn't comfortable on my board and I wasn't riding around places and then I immediately tried dropping in and lo and behold I smoked myself in the head and hurt myself because I didn't have enough board control. I wish I'd spent a year before I started skating just like riding my board to school and just knowing how to like turn and yeah. feel out the board because that's so important. People just get way too ahead of themselves at the skate mm -hmm. park and then that is for sure how you get hurt. So just yeah. ride your freaking board everywhere. And riding your board everywhere is so much fun. It but is. When I first moved to Vancouver, I had so much fun riding my board everywhere. Hop with your friends and like, skate by yourself and everything so go get on your board go out on the streets in your local suburbia <laughs> and just have some freaking fun don't be so focused on being able to kickflip like just go have some fun on your board ride around on the asphalt and uh 
you'll get there. Thank you guys for watching. Um, see you guys in the next one. Swag out. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna get swagged out. Peace out. What's up? Bye. <laughs> Since I'm